Are you looking to maintain your ultraviolet disinfection system to make sure the water at your home cottage or cabin is safe and bacteria-free for your family? Not sure where to start? Want some advice from the pros? Relax, this video's for you. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Today, I'm being joined by Matthew from our tech team, and he's gonna help me share with you tips and tricks on maintaining your ultraviolet disinfection system like a pro. By the end of this video, you'll know what you need to start, how to do it, and how often, so that you can maintain that system for your family, and what you should definitely avoid doing. Really, the first step is knowing what make and model ultraviolet disinfection system you have. The basic procedures are the same, but there's little nuances between the different makes, and there's even within different models. And they all require their own specific replacement UV lamp and sleeve. So here you can see on the label from our Hume Safe Water 10 ultraviolet disinfection system that's made by UV Dynamics, it not only tells you the make and the model number, but it also tells you which model replacement UV lamp you need, which model sleeve you need, and a whole lot of extra info. This one from Luminar also gives you some great information. It not only tells you the make, that it's Luminar, it also tells you the model, and again, it tells you the lamp and the sleeve that you need. This one from Viqua tells us a little bit less information, but at least it tells us the model number, and it tells us which replacement lamp it uses. First of all, what is an ultraviolet disinfection system, and why would anyone want one? It's a UV light. Uh, and a disinfection system would consist of multiple filters or one filter and then the UV light. And you would want it because it would kill the bacteria in your water. Yeah, so if you're on a municipal water system, do you need a UV? No, you don't. Why? Because it already comes bacteria free from the municipality. They make sure it's bacteria yeah. free. But if you're on well water, who makes sure their water's bacteria free? You do. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't? Then you might have bacteria. <laughs> right. And how do you know if you have bacteria? you would have to have it tested. So if you have it tested today, does that mean you're good for the next six months? No, it doesn't. Uh, the only way to make sure that you wouldn't have bacteria in your water is to have a UV disinfection system. So are there other kinds of disinfection systems out there? There's chemical disinfection systems. Yeah. In other words, systems that put chemical like chlorine into the water. Yeah. There's ozone. That's a disinfection system that's out there too. Okay. One of the reasons why we favor ultraviolet disinfection is because it's totally chemical free. Yep. It doesn't change anything about the water except kill the bacteria. Kills the bacteria. It doesn't make any other changes to the water. And it's, it's much lower cost than chemical injection and much less intrusive than chemical injection and or ozone. Are UV disinfection systems easy to install? Absolutely it is. Water goes in on one side, comes out on the other side. So what types of ultraviolet disinfection systems are there? Whole house, you can add on uh, to your drinking system, like uh, the RO unit over here, monitor system, or you can have a mini rack uh, system. So a monitored UV system, is it has a, a sensor built in. People think it measures if you've got bacteria or not. It doesn't do that at all. All it monitors is if the quality of the water is clear enough for the UV light to be able to kill the bacteria. Okay. That's all it does. For home type use, I don't recommend a monitored ultraviolet disinfection system. They're very finicky. They're very expensive. They require a lot of maintenance. It's not telling you if you've got bacteria or not. All it's telling you is if your water compatible with the ultraviolet light to kill a bacteria. It doesn't tell you anything else. And if you're not sure how an ultraviolet disinfection system works, again, I've got a great YouTube video that explains the whole process. So what kind of questions are we often asked about the maintenance of, of ultraviolet disinfection systems? What filters do I need? Uh, right. What lamp do I need? Is it hard to do? And how do I do it? UV lamp needs to be changed at least once a year. Yeah. Um, the filters as well, at least once a year. Sometimes the filters, uh, depending on the water usage in your property or your, your house or what, what be it, um, you might need to change it a little bit sooner, maybe every six months. How would you know? If the water flow starts to slow down. In if other you... words, the filters are getting clogged. Yeah, right? the filters are getting clogged, correct. What about the light? How do you know when to change that? You need to change it at least once a year. So the ultraviolet transmittance that the UV lamp gives off, the bulb wears out after about a year. So it's not giving you the same amount of ultraviolet transmittance to kill the bacteria as it would when you first installed it. So once a year is the recommended standard procedure of changing the UV lamp. And does the UV tell you that? Some of the systems do, yeah. Almost all the systems do actually, yeah. So it has the, a timer on the ballast and it will start beeping or some of them come with a countdown timer where it says 365 when you first do it, and then it will count down the days as it goes. Are all UV lights changed the same way? Like it's the same basic procedure to change them? Pretty much, yeah. So uh, you would need to turn off the water, uh, relieve the pressure. You make sure you close the valve going upstream so that nothing's going out while you're changing it. You unplug the light, 
let it cool down for a bit. While you're doing that, you can change the filters out, uh, the pre-filter, so the sediment filter and the carbon filter, uh, same way that you kind of did with the RO. Uh, so you disconnect the filter, uh, you drain it out, you seal the put the silicone grease around, you put the new filter in and then hand tighten it. And then after you've hand tightened it, you give it another little snug just to make sure. Um, with the, the lamp, you need to take the lamp out carefully straight. Uh, and then you also need to take out the sleeve and make sure that the sleeve is clean so that the UV light is shining through it and killing the bacteria. Um, and the, also, again, you have to make sure that you're careful and do it nice and, and straight because glass doesn't bend. <laughs> no, it just breaks. Yeah. <laughs> and then once you've replaced the lamp, does it know that you've replaced the lamp? It does. Well, some, some systems know, and then some systems you have to hit a reset on the, on the ballast itself. And do they all reset the same way? No, they don't. Some okay. some different than others. Yeah, that's exactly it. So you need to know the procedure to do it, to yep. reset it properly. And that's a common uh, call that we get. Hey, I just replaced my lamp a month ago. Very and, common. <laughs> and, and it's already burnt out. Well, why is it burnt out? Well, because it's beeping. Oh, did you reset the timer? What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so there's a definite procedure and each brand has a different uh, process for doing that. Yeah. And like I said, I mentioned earlier, if you have a monitored UV, there's a little, uh, the monitor itself, the sensor needs to be cleaned. And again, there's a procedure for that. So other than changing the lamp, other than changing the uh, filters, other than cleaning the sleeve, what other kind of maintenance might you run into with an ultraviolet disinfection system? The ballast, you might have a problem with the ballast where the ballast stops working. Yep. Or uh, if you don't have it plugged into something like this, a surge protector, uh, if your power goes out and then it comes back on really quickly, it could ruin that ballast and then uh, your light won't be disinfecting the water. And that's something we're seeing more and more. I don't know, over the last few years, it seems that we're having a lot of power fluctuations, especially here in cottage country. So I definitely encourage you, if you take nothing else from this uh, video uh, presentation, is uh, definitely get a surge uh, protector, surge suppressor, surge protector, not just your ultraviolet light, for your water softener, your iron filter, yep. that kind of thing. They all have electronics. And to replace that ballast is quite costly. It can easily be three to $600. So cheap insurance for 25 bucks, pick up a, a surge suppressor. Another thing you need to be careful of too is allowing enough time to do the work, especially if it's the first time you've done, you're, you're doing ultraviolet maintenance. Yep. And again, I've got probably a close to a hundred videos, just on ultraviolet disinfection system. So whatever kind of a system you have, look up one of my YouTube videos on that, watch it first and then plan for it. Whatever you do, don't do like one of our customers did Christmas Eve, his wife was uh, getting the meal ready. He got people coming over and he said, I'm going to quickly go downstairs and change that UV lamp. <laughs> And she said, no, no, don't do that now. He went ahead and did it anyway, broke his sleeve, and uh, he was in a lot of trouble. Luckily, in the nick of time, he found a place to get a sleeve, got it changed out, and he saved the day. But don't do it that way. Leave enough time <laughs> and make sure you have a spare sleeve. Yeah. Right? Peculiarities of each system, like I say, Matthew mentioned, they're generally the same process. There are peculiarities of each and every a brand of system out there. And sometimes even within the brand, different models are different. Uh, definitely familiarize yourself with, with what you have and also make sure you've got the correct lamp um, for your system before you start. And again, if you're looking for a great YouTube video that goes through the whole process on one of the, the mini rack systems, I've got a great YouTube video that uh, describes the whole process. And I definitely encourage you to check that out. And if yours is a different brand, like I say, feel free to contact us, info at Water eStore, to find out uh, which video pertains to your system. If someone is looking to replace the filters in their uh, mini rack system, how do they know which ones to get? You can take a picture of it, email it into us, or if you're still not sure, you can open it up and see what you have. And so many mini rack uh, systems, like this one here, for example, has two filters and has an ultraviolet lamp and has a sleeve. Now, if you're, if you're going through trying to figure out which filter I have, what size is it? That kind of thing. You know, it, it can cause you a little bit of grief. Um, but we've got bundles. We've put together bundles that um, that are the exact filters you need and the exact lamp you need so that um, not only you get the right thing, but it, it saves you money. Uh, if you have to choose each of these filters and choose this lamp, the total cost would be significantly higher than choosing the bundle. So again, I definitely encourage you to uh, check that out. And again, if you're looking for uh, where to get this stuff that we're talking about here today, you can go to our websites, waterestore.com in the US, waterestore.ca in Canada. And again, we offer free shipping and uh, 
discount pricing. So I encourage you to check that out. Now, if you're still not 100% sure of how to do the maintenance on your ultraviolet disinfection system, the make and the model, or you're not sure what replacement lamp and sleeve you need, no problem. All you need to do is email us a picture. Email to info at waterestore.com. And I've included some great links in the description down below that take you right to the uh, most common replacement UV lamps and sleeves and our great bundles that include the filters and the sleeve and the lamp replacement for mini rack systems. And the great thing about the bundles is you don't need to figure out which carbon filter you need, which sediment filter you need, which lamp you need. It all comes out as a bundle and it's all the same as the OEM stuff. And let's not forget that when you buy the bundle, it saves you money. Click up here for your next video on ultraviolet disinfection systems and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below.